Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've realized that my hair is literally never done when I'm filming, but um, this is just kind of like how my hair is when I wake up, and I just don't do it until after my makeup. I don't know why, but um, that's just that's just me. Um, I have I did a face mask today actually, um, a moisturizing one, so my skin is very very soft and very hydrated. But, um, yeah, so we're going to be doing another get ready with me because what other videos do I film? Um, I kind of like film these every single day and I just literally, I get ready on camera. But, um, yeah, I'm priming because I do the same thing every single time. Um, I still don't know. If these should be, um, if I should be skipping my face makeup because I have not um, uploaded that video yet. It's uploading right now, but um, yeah. So if you guys don't want, I asked in that video if you guys want to see me doing my face anymore. Oh, my camera's dying. That sucks. So I have done my foundation and my eyebrows because. I thought that that would be the smartest option. Um, so now I'm going to go on with the eyes. I don't know what I want to do with the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and prime with my NYX primer. I need to fix my brows. My brows are a never-ending struggle to make nice. I'm priming my eyeballs. I should have done this before I turned on the camera, but it's okay. Um... I just put on the primer and then I'm going to set it with an eyeshadow. What if I talked in a British accent all the time? Would that be, that would be fun I feel. Like just constantly talking in a British accent like, hello, how are you doing today? How about we try me talking in a British accent for the rest of this video? And I'm really sorry if it offends anyone or if or how do you say or? 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 No, that can't be it. Um, if it offends anyone, just I'm just I'm just having fun, you know. My dream is to live in London one day, so I feel like I should practice it now. Now? I don't know. I'm using this palette for everything. This is the main palette that I use in all of my videos because this is really the main array of colors that I have. This is the main um, palette that I have that I like the most. I'm going to take um, this color from the Zimorphe palette and put that in my crease and that's going to be like my only crease color. Um, this is going to be a very simple look because that's the mood I'm in. So we're just going to put that in the crease. Woo, this is so fun. Now I'm just building up what I'm doing. I'm using the same colors and just building it up until it's the depth that I want. Making sure I'm blending out all of the little edges because we want this to be nice and seamless. Um, I want to use a purple really bad, or a blue, we'll do blue because I haven't done blue in a long time, we'll use this dark blue. Um, this, I really like these, these are very good, I kind of want to get more of the colors because I think they're very nice quality, but these are the e.l.f. single eyeshadows, like the studio single shadows. This is the brush that I use, this little, it's from the Naked One palette, or I think, no, this is from the Naked Smoky palette, and it's a little like smudger shot, smooth smudger smudger side and I'm taking my this is a NYX um jumbo eye pencil that's really old which now I'm like kind of like sketched out with using old products but whatever um I'm putting this underneath my eyes I've tried using crazy colors without using some kind of like white base but it just doesn't stay as much it's not as vibrant um you don't have to use this, um, a, like a jumbo pencil either. You can go ahead and 
use a cream eyeshadow or um, like a MAC paint pot if you have one. Um, really anything white or very light skin tone that's going to make it pop and um, make the color really stick to it. And I'm just going to apply some to my lower lash line and I'm making an ugly face because you can't really help it. So, um, I did that and I actually want to darken it up a little but else is new. Um, I'm taking, okay, so I have this situation. I've never showed you guys this, I don't think, but like this was, this happened a long, long time ago. Um, my concealer melted and like they're, they're just, they've been stuck together ever since and I just keep them together. But, um, I'm taking this color right here, you know, and I'm applying that, um, in my crease and kind of like blending it a little bit just to, or to my outer corner just to darken it up a little bit. Wow. Every single time I want a more natural look. I just can never do it. It just never sticks. Never. I always gotta think of something. That's usually like, that's literally how my makeup always works. Like, I go in thinking like, oh, it's just gonna be a light, like, simple, natural day, but then I look at all the stuff that I have and I'm just like, ooh, what kind of different looks can I use? What can I make with you? You know? I'm going to now line my eyeballs with black um, on my top lash line. Very roughly, you know. I just do this like very thin line to define my eye. Now I'm going to just line my tight line because this is a very, I feel like it's just necessary to line my tight line and my waterline with black. And I just use black eyeshadow for this because I find that it stays the best and I don't know, this is just what I've always done. No, this is not what I've always done, but this is what I have been doing. curling my lashes and putting on some mascara. So I have finished the look. I'm just going to go ahead and put something on my lips because I actually don't want to. First class nude one says, hmm. This is Rimmel's first class nude. Um, definitely not what I wear with this, but um, yeah, I'm really annoyed with this eyebrow. I wish it was more mellow than it actually is. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you, yeah, I just hope you guys enjoyed it and my camera's about to die again. So um, yeah, I. I really like this look. I think it's very sultry, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video.